So I decided to make a video about uh, how to improve your network security when you connect to a uh, Wi-Fi network, public Wi-Fi network. Um, the reason why security is a concern with public Wi-Fi because uh, it has to be public in uh, some way, uh, meaning uh, everyone can uh, somehow get to it, uh, bad people can get to it. Um, so today uh, I will share with you my uh, setup, uh, which I think uh, it is uh, quite secure. And uh, the setup is uh, for people who are a little bit into technologies, who are willing to do some more research regarding the components and the softwares that I mentioned in the video, and uh, for the people who are really care about their their security and a little bit paranoid about it. Um, Okay, uh, let's, uh, let me show you. Uh, so the first uh, component, the, I call it the gateway that interfaces with the free public Wi-Fi interface is uh, this uh, tiny little box called uh, Cradle Point. So this one, the, it has a unique operating system. Uh, the opera operating system used for mobile routers like this, usually hardened. Uh, it has a firewall in it and other low-level network filtering and customizing features. It's basically a, a router that can talk with free Wi-Fi and then filter the traffic, you know, uh, filtering the traffic and send the traffic out into this uh, Ethernet interface to the second component. This is uh, the interface of the router. It can uh, it can do site survey, looking for uh, the networks that are available to you to use. Uh, give you the network names, uh, the ID, the RSSI, the mode of the network, uh, authenticators, authentication mode and channel of the networks. Basically. Uh, surveying all the available networks for you and in here I create a uh, a record for the router to connect to which is uh, currently my home network and once it connected to the free Wi-Fi it's gonna give you the the status of the connection in here so right now I'm connected so this is the interface of the second components uh, that with the name uh, Entango I run this uh, operating system on a uh, virtual mach machine. Um, so in order to run Untangle, you just uh, need to go to untangle.com and download the free version. Or if you want to pay, you can pay for the uh, commercial version, which is like really expensive. Um, this uh, virtual machines will uh, scrub once again all the packages sent by the, uh, the router right here. Um, it has some uh, functions like uh, web filter, uh, virus blocker, spyware blocker, uh, application control, and uh, another layer of firewall in network intrusion prevention. Uh, you can go here setting up rules uh, and uh, further control the traffic going into your main machine. So uh, talking about the network interface separation uh, all the traffics uh, sent from this box right here gonna be received by this uh, USB uh, network interface made by uh, Cisco um, this is uh, the import for the virtual machine and this is uh, the output of the virtual machine um, and only the virtual machine can control uh, this USB network interface is totally separated from the network interface that the laptop has. Uh, the laptop has the one Ethernet port right here and the Wi-Fi. There's no packages uh, leaking between the virtual machine and the laptop. So basically, I'm trying to we're trying to separate uh, as much as possible uh, the duties and uh, the the network traffic from the virtual machine and the host OS. Uh, just in case, you know, the, the virtual machine or the OS got hacked. 
So uh, once again, Untango is a very, very good uh, um, kind of firewall and intrusion prevention uh, software operating system for you to use. And uh, in order to run Untango on a virtual machine, I use uh, VMware um, as uh, the software to host the virtual machine. And uh, basically, you just uh, create a new virtual machine with VMware and load Untango into it and make the USB uh, Ethernet interfaces only available for that machine. So, uh, in, a, in short, I, I let this uh, box interface directly to the free network, free Wi-Fi network that I can get access to either from uh, the hotel or Starbucks or McDonald's. Uh, this one has some uh, advanced routing feature. It's basically a, a router, uh, got firewall on it. It's a uh, filtering, uh, scrubbing. You can set some basic rules on this box and the, the traffic then goes out to a uh, separate interface for a virtual machine. Uh, the virtual machines run another set of security uh, features, um, further scrubbing the packages, the, internet, uh, the network traffic, and then only after that it give uh, it feed the traffic into the main main box in here uh, for us to use. Uh, all the traffic goes in and out, can be uh, monitored and locked down into locks uh, by the virtual machine and the box. Uh, and you can see, you know, what's happening with the network, you know, uh, what port is open uh, in case your box here got hacked. Uh, you still have the virtual machine to filter out that traffic and give you alerts. And even in the case the virtual machine got hacked, uh, you can still have the firewall and uh, security features uh, from your operating system.